Uh, hello, hi guys. Uh, today we're looking at the Derek Crane. Yeah. So this is um, an example from this book, uh, Strength of Material N6. Uh, we're looking at this how to draw uh, the, this vector diagram, the top view and the side view of the Derek trains, Crane. Sorry. So this is the, uh, this is the crane here. And then uh, we have all the label sides name. So we can understand uh, from A to C, this is your type bar. Uh, and then uh, from uh, B to C, this is your, uh, this is your support arm. Now, this is your, the arm that is holding uh, the load here. Um, and then uh, we also have a vertical support, which is uh, AP, and we also have uh, the back, uh, the back stay, which is uh, AD, right, or DA, right? and then we also have uh, two strut. So the back, uh, the back stay, we have uh, AD, and also EA, num. No? So this is also the back, uh, the back stay. And then the last one is uh, the two strut, which is D, B. This is the strut. And then the another one is this one. So now uh, we're going to do two. Uh, we're going to do a set of uh, maybe a series of this uh, question. So here's the question. And then from this um, video, we'll only be concentrating on how to draw this two part here. And then we'll do another one to draw the vector diagram. And then the last one, uh, we're going to draw this side uh, of the uh, of the of the top view. Also, these uh, forces to put our forces on the strut and also on the back stay and all those uh, type of uh, forces that is needed. So here's the question now. Let's say um, on this question you have. Um, Okay, this is your figure number a six uh, figure six point uh, one point six, which is this one. Uh, they say that this uh, figure support a load of five uh, kg kilo newtons. Sorry, it's kilo newtons, not kg. Right? Okay, five kilo newtons um, at the point C, and then the dimensions of the cranes are as follows. So we have the dimension from A. Uh, from a b we also have the dimensions from uh, d e and all this one and then um the last one uh the question now says uh determine graphically the magnitude of uh the force in the member of the crane if the position of the crane uh um is uh, on the um, oh it's on the center of the crane so now we have to construct uh, this one. So firstly, uh, what is going to happen now? Uh, okay, I have redrawn the crane here. So this is uh, the crane and uh, the dimensions that we are given. We're given this dimension, uh, this uh, FB, and also given um, e, e D or DE. Uh, and then we're also given also which one? Oh, we're given three dimensions, right? So, what you're going to do now, we can choose our scale. Uh, we can use a scale of one uh, centimeter equals to one meters. Uh, we will be fine because when I'm estimating seven is this far. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we're going to do is to draw a straight line. Uh, let's draw a straight line here. Now, uh, from this straight line, we're going to mark a point here. This is going to be our point F. Now, so, the point F, which is uh, this one. right? So, if you can mark our point F here, and then we say, it, uh, from, they say here from D to E at 7 meters. So, half of 7 is going to be um, 3.5. Okay, going to put it like this. Uh, it's going to be 3.5 here. 
and then uh, serve it in here. So this is the line of what? This is the line of D E. Then, so you can just uh, say that this one, it's your D, this one, it's E, right? And then uh, the last uh, thing the, that you are given is also this dimension from F to B. F to B, they say is 7 again. So you're going to measure your 7, this sign. So you have uh, this 7 here. You know? uh, okay. I don't know if it's visible. Let me put it straight here like this. Okay, so then and now uh, from here we're going to draw a straight line combining this line here and then another one this side. Okay, so this is our top view. Now. So this is our top view. So after we have drawn our top uh, view, this is uh, B, then we have to draw another line here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough space. Let me get another paper to draw this thing. Okay, uh, we, we uh, I got another paper here. Um, so we, 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 we have enough space now. So then from here, what you're going to do is to draw another line parallel to uh, this line. Right, so you can draw another line on top here. Uh, parallel to this one that means it has to be another straight line and then from this straight line you need to project now the point of f m to this line so you're going to have uh, this line this point which is f and then you're also going to project uh, this b m so you're going to have b uh, m right so now uh, that you have uh, this uh, B, remember we also had uh, a dimension from A to B, right? So now we're going to need to construct this, uh, uh, this uh, part of the num. So remember this is your top view, is M, which is this one. And then now we're going to construct this side. And then from here, we need to draw a straight line going up which we're going to measure another seven. So this is the line going up and then your seven is going to be here. Okay, you have your seven here. So this is, uh, remember this is your B and then this is your F. And then now uh, that we measured this line, this is going to be our A. So then now um, to, 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 to construct the point C, now we need to draw uh, this line at an angle of 60 with the horizontal and also with an angle of 120, uh, 120 at this angle or, or maybe from, uh, from your line of AB to this side is going to be 120. But then if you can uh, separate it and then you, you separate that 90 degrees and then you are left with 30, then we can measure 30 going up. So you can use your uh, protractor, but then uh, in my case, I had um, my, my, my set square. I can still use my set square because this side is 60 degrees, uh, this side is 30 degrees. So, um, but then if you don't have a set square, you can still use your uh, where is my protractor? Let me get my protractor here. It was somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so you can still use your protractor. It's fine. Let's use the protractor because it's a common tool for everyone. So not everyone is doing a uh, drawing, right? So okay. Then we're going to measure 60 degrees. Then this is our 60 degrees from the horizontal. That means we're going to count from this side to this point, which is going to be, this is our 60 here. And then we're going to draw a straight line. A straight line going up, which is going to be this line, right? 
and then from this point now we're going to measure 120 we can start from this side if you're going to measure 120 from this side going to this one you're going to have now 120 here right and then now we're going to have the final side which is going to be this line then now you have completed what right? you have completed um this point of an this point of c and then this point of c you can then hang your um you can then hang your uh your load remember you had your load here uh your load of five kilonewton so this one it doesn't matter the the the, the dimension or the distance of this line is going to be 30 uh, so it's going to be five kilonewton okay and then we also have to combine the line of at a and f we can just uh, combine these two lines like this one right and then now you are done with what with your uh, side view and your top view of the uh, direct crane so uh, stay tuned we're going to do another uh, follow-up video or just right now I'm going to do the vector diagram after this one right